Hi, air signs, and welcome to your tarot love messages. This reading here is intended for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, rising in this cross watching. Today, we're going to take a look at and see, um, you know, what will what the cards are predicting for you and your romantic connection, you and your romantic energy. So, I'm not trying to single anyone out, but I guess this reading is more tailored to those of you that do have. Um, you do have, you know, a special person in your life, even if it's if you guys are just loosely involved or if you are in a relationship, um, you know, however the connection fits for you. We'll take a look and see, um, you know, what what's coming in. What will the future hold for your connection? Um, you know, what might happen in a couple of weeks or a couple of months from now or even a year from now? We'll see what the cards, you know, have to say for you. Because it is a general reading, um, therefore the messages reflected within this reading will be general, so please be mindful of this. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what the cards predict here for you and your, for you and your romantic uh, connection, you and your special person. Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords straight away. Guys, this is going to be this connection here, this person that you're currently involved with. This is going to be a very, this person is going to play a very important role in your life, okay? Um, whether as a romantic partner, a friend, this is someone who I feel like will have, will change your life, okay? Will create a very big and powerful impact. I feel like this person will leave quite an impression upon your life here. Um, to me, this person is heaven sent, okay? Because I feel like this person is going to, they enter your life at a, they will enter your life or they have entered your life um, at a time in your life when you needed them the most, okay? Because I can see that they're here to help you with the whole healing and growing process with, all, with that journey here, okay? Um, I'm getting the message that this person is a blessing in disguise. This person is heaven sent. They have been divinely orchestrated to enter your life at a certain point. Um, I'm seeing that this person is going to do, they're going to transform your life in a big and powerful way. This is someone whom you're never going to forget. It doesn't matter how hard you try. This is going to be a very honest connection. Never in your lifetime will you be as comfortable in truly being yourself as you are with this individual. You are going to be entirely yourself with this person, okay? Unfiltered, raw, completely honest, completely transparent. The two, what the two of you have and what the two of you will create is the safe space. Um, one that can truly only be envied by people from the outside, where the two of you are just going to be yourselves with one another. It's the safe place where there is no judgment. Um, there's no, like, critical energies you can just be yourself with one another and you don't feel that this person will judge you or love you any less there's quite a feminine energy coming in around this person um this person can be someone who's quite in touch with their fem um, their feminine side or they're quite intuitive and quite emotional and sensitive from what i can see all right here's the thing i feel like for a lot of you um there's going to be a point in the in the relationship where you're going to meet you're going to meet an ending of some sort with the tower card okay there's going to be a huge i'm picking up a verbal fight but for some of you it can get a little bit um it can extend past that i feel like it's just going to be a really i'm seeing like really loud arguments like a very uncomfortable energy here so there's going to be a point in the connection where and the only reason why you experience this is because the emotional intensity of this connection is really uh, it's really something the two of you feel so strongly for one another that if you don't express it in a healthy way it's going to come out in an unhealthy way you know hence the disagreeing or hence the arguments and again i'm just putting it down to that emotional intensity that i'm picking up here so i see that there is going to be a point in the connection with the tower card where it's going to be like it's going to cause a huge disruption 
when I say disruption I'm kind of downplaying a little bit because from what I can see for you guys it's going to be like a fallout for some of you you'll be breaking up for, for those of you that are doing some of you are long distance because I feel like someone here is I'm seeing someone flying back to their country or moving out if the two of you are living together will be living together I feel like someone here is moving out packing up their stuff so it's going to cause this cataclysmic change and I feel like it's going to be um, a huge catalyst for the changes to come from this connection from that point or onward so I see a period in your connection with the two of you you know you go through this separation there's a separation of time and distance that prevents the two of you from coming back together it's an uncomfortable change and it's really going to shake you up and it's really going to shake up your connection here but I feel like it's I feel like it's um this storm, okay, so we'll call it the tower moment. This storm, I feel like that will um, that will envelop the two of you. If your connection, so the reason why this storm comes, it's not to clear, you know, it's not to disrupt your path. It's in fact to clear your path, okay. And with the tower moment, you notice with the tower card, notice how the foundational structure is just eroding at the bottom. So the reason why you have this storm is to filter out anything you know any structures that it's outdated so if the two of you have built on a have you have built your connection on something that is a little bit shaky unsturdy or a little bit outdated the tower gives you a moment to go back take a step back and do some analysis you know do some self-reflecting or some um, self-analysis and just um, see if the two of you can come back together okay and build a much stronger and healthier and sturdier foundation. So really the tower moment is going to be a blessing in disguise. Because what will happen from that separation for some of you. You'll think that this is the end. Okay. Because that that's how bleak and um, dismal and dark and gloomy it will seem at that point. You'll think that this is the end. You'll think that's it. You know. You, you've hit the end of the road. There's no coming back from this. But what it's going to do, it's going to strengthen your connection. Because I feel like it's going to rebalance you and, you know, create an equilibrium back in the connection here. And, you know, the two of you will come apart, but you will come back together. For some of you, I have to say that this tower moment could last months. It could last as long as to up to a year or even longer, but you will come back together. And you will come back together to enter into a more healthier and a more trusting, a more loving, a more loyal and committed relationship. So really... Had you not had this tower moment, your your relationship would not be as powerful and as strong and as resilient as it will be in the future. Thanks to this tower moment, thanks to this blessing in disguise. This is someone who's going to transform your life. This person will teach you a lot about yourself, a lot about the world, a lot about life. You will do a lot of exploring, a lot of traveling, a lot of growing with this person. Some of you are going to build a life with this person. It's more of a slower burning energy, but don't rush it because every day with them will be like an adventure. Okay, The two of you are really... It's like, yes, you're getting to know yourself. Like you're getting to know each other, but you're also getting to know yourself in the process because this per this person is really heaven sent. This person has been put in your path for a reason. Okay, I feel like there's such divine intervention and divine orchestration that's happening here. So it's very powerful, absolutely powerful here. You're building something with this person. For some of you, you're going to build a home. Okay, in the in the future, the two of you are going to build a home or you're going to invest in a property. Some of you are going to, this is the person whom you're going to get married to. Um, others of you, I feel like, you know, if marriage isn't your thing, I see you building or investing in properties here. Some of you are going to start a business with this person here. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of, um, a lot of traveling with this person as well. But it, and if it's not a physical traveling that I see for some of you, then it's like a spiritual journey. Okay. It's going to be a very, like I said with them, and I keep getting this message, but I feel like it's going to truly be from day one, from the day that you meet them, um, it'll just be, there's just something in the air, okay? You can't explain it and you don't have to explain it. All you have to do here, guys, is trust it because from the day that you meet them, it's just going to be, it's just going to be one big exciting adventure. It's going to be one roller coaster. You know, will there be ups? Absolutely. Will there be light? Will there be downs? Yes. You know, for certain. But at the end of the day, I feel like the good here will outweigh, you know, those 
moments of emotional turbulency. So it's going to be quite a, an a emotional roller coaster. But I feel like this person is a blessing in disguise. I feel like this person is going to be a light, a shining light in your darkness. I feel like this person is going to bring such a healing. They've got such a calm and healing and beautiful energy about them. They're just such. They've got a very wonderful, very light aura. A very light aura to them. Um, they attract. A lot of people they're very personable they attract a lot of people into their life here there's, there's a lot of goodness they've got such a good kind gentle heart and soul um, and you'll really appreciate this with in them here um, this person here is what I get for some of you is when you're standing under a night sky here, a starry sky here, this person will, you know, you've got a star full of, you've got a, a sky full of stars, but they won't be able to take their eyes off you, you guys. There's just so, not, not, not only are they head over heels in love with you, not only are they, you know, they're into deep here, but I feel like this person is in awe of you, is in absolute awe of you. Okay, guys, and these are the messages the cards hold for you. Um, if you are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list that email address just below the video here. I just want to thank you guys again for your time and attention. Thank you for your support. I will be sharing more tarot love messages with you guys. So, you know, um, feel free to check it out on the channel. Otherwise, thanks, guys. Bye for now.